It is Tuesday, the 4th of April, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Grace and peace to you. So while this trial from yesterday has been taking place inside Caiaphas's house, outside, sitting in the courtyard, Peter's been sitting, and a female servant comes up to him and says, you also were with Jesus the Galilean, but Peter denied it. Number one. He says, I don't know what you're talking about. Then in verse 71, it says, when he went out to the porch trying to get away from the woman who'd accused him, another female servant saw him and said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. Number two. After a little while, while the bystanders came up and said to Peter, certainly you are with one of them, for your accent betrays you. He's got a drawl that makes it dead obvious that he's from Galilee. Like people who live in the north and the south, you can tell the dialects. You can tell the sound of their voice. And Peter sounds like a Galilean. He sounds just like Jesus, so he must be one of them. I do not know the man, he says. Number three. At that moment, the cock crowed, and Peter realized what Jesus had said, and he went out and wept bitterly. <clears throat> Compare this to Jesus in the garden, who three times withstood the temptation to let God rescue him, to just ignore his call, to do whatever it was that was anything but the cross, and Jesus had stood firm, while Peter he does the opposite. <clears throat> the innocent Jesus has been condemned to death, and now the guilty Peter, well, he's saved. And there's the crux, isn't it? That while Jesus in innocence is condemned, the one who denies him is saved. And that's me and you, isn't it? We deny Jesus, we betray Jesus, we ignore Jesus. We make Jesus uh, our friend and our buddy instead of our Lord and our Savior. We can go long periods of time without having one thought about Jesus. And yet he still is condemned, innocent, while we, guilty, get away with everything up to and including murder. You see, Jesus came to save us from ourselves, to show us that there is another way of being in the world, to offer us a way into the kingdom of God, of peace and justice and mercy, instead of the way of the world, which is betrayal, denial, fear, and death. Peter is the example of how we struggle with which kingdom we want to live in whether we will stand up and take the risks to follow the one who brought the kingdom or whether we will acquiesce and live in this world with all of the things that it brings that are dark, forbidding. May we choose well and may we not deny him. Let us pray. Holy God, before the cross, and all the crosses that come to us in life, we must choose. Do we own up to our Lord and claim him as ours, or do we deny him and take the path of least resistance? May we be found to be faithful and true. And when we fail, Lord, may we know that he died for us to forgive us our sins, even the most grievous denials. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.